I do that on purpose, just to make you guys feel good. <clears throat> Plus I was you really don't want to hear me anyway. Good morning. We have uh, we have a crispy egg roll in the house. We have a Kirohiko. We have PD83, Book and Red, 1442. Uh, hello, son. <laughs> um, Yeah, good morning, guys. I haven't seen you in ages. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the um, the publicity, the publicity, the promotion. I, I put out several of the the drawings that um, of the Supergirl draw along, which we did a while ago. I'm gonna have to move this around. This is a bad spot. Me no like it. Uh, <clears throat> so. fight this thing here okay we have uh, Kira we have crispy well we have an elephant <laughs> so good morning everybody uh, I'm feeling at good Abend PBZ can good Abend Leute Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Alles Gute. Okay, so um, I'm still feeling a little under the weather, but I feel much, much more improved. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, Mystical Burrito Supreme. Uh oh, Mystical Burrito Supreme. With a faux Asian, uh, I was gonna say slant, but that's horrible too. Anyway, um, what are we going to do today? That's a good question. We are doing a draw along, so let's get going. Uh, I have a hard out at twelve thirty, I believe. So um, the way we do this is, I draw much slower. Uh, I draw at what I call crispy speed, which means like it's like draw, think, 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 explain. Think, 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 draw. So that's the, so it's going to move at a slower cadence. So we're going to do one image in about uh, <laughs> negative speed. We're going to be going backwards in time. We're going to be erasing the final drawing. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, uh, so we're only going to be doing one piece. And at the end, uh, People that are subscribers on Discord, and uh, the mods will share with you um, a little bit of what Discord is. Um, it's a dedicated ch uh, chat channel, essentially, that's tied to this this chat, uh, the stream channel, the Twitch channel, and people can post their final results. and It's almost like an unveiling. Like I walk you through this process, like turn left, make a right, you're blindfolded, walk down the stairs. Take you know punch in four three two one of the keypad, and then see if the door opens. And if the door opens, walk through. And then we see on Discord at the end of this whole drawing process how many people actually made it through that final gate and entered the code correctly and got through. And and we judge that by the results of their drawing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> So we're doing one drawing. Uh, don't post the result. Don't don't post whips. Just post one image in the draw along channel in the Discord. That's for subs only. If you're not a sub and you don't have the scratch, that's fine too. You can still join. Uh, I think there's still like two or three channels that are available for anybody at, on our Discord channel. And there's a um, area where you can post art. It's just not as moderated. And uh, um, uh, you know, I, I'm going to go through the the uh, the sub channel of the draw along and then I pull images out to kind of post right before we do the next draw along to kind of show people what we did the last time so I mean people will probably still see it I'll probably see it people on the channel but I, I, I pull images to post on Instagram and Twitter from the uh, the sub only draw along channel that's the only difference between the two <clears throat> okay the other half of Jim you can only see half of me 
Uh, okay, all right. It's so weird. Okay, because, yeah, okay, all right. Sorry, sorry. This camera, the way this camera set up, it looks like I'm, like, centered, um, but I guess the center is right here. Center, there we go. There's really nothing exciting that happens on the other side anyway, honestly. Prime subs are included. Prime subs is just like a regular $5 sub. It just It's complimentary uh, because Amazon owns Twitch and they want to promote it. <clears throat> so join in now. <clears throat> Man, I still have a little, like, you know, tightness, uh, whatever, phlegm in my chest. It's nasty. <laughs> All right, Cyrixian has a uh, cheer. Thank you very much for the cheers, dude. Uh, Supperita is hosting with one viewer. Ethan Vercellono has subscribed, and Ignite Comics has cheered. Ignite Comics, big time uh, supporter, uh, past few streams. So thank you, Ignite Comics, for the support. And uh, in the last half hour, we had Walter o Style or Steel, Steely. I don't know, some guy named Walter. Thank you very much, Walter, for subscribing. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Twitch appreciates it. Amazon appreciates it. All right. Uh, and uh, after the last stream, I think ready, ready to type. Mm, I, you know, I say this stuff just to kind of refresh my memory of, like, who's uh, in channel, who's not. Uh, so it's kind of my way of reminding myself who's who. Ready to uh, Ready... Tigrex and Daddy Daz have subscribed, and that was in the hours at, in between the streams, uh, as did 22 Bonilla Cupcakes. Bonilla. Sorry, 22 Bonilla Cupcakes, I think that's probably correct. And uh, Ralph Underhoven has a... Uh, Ralph Under... <laughs> Ralph Vanderhoven, probably from the Netherlands, has cheered. Thank you very much. Ralph, I appreciate it. And Chaj Mataj has also subscribed as has Blue Haven Knight. All right, so um, I so I just look at usually the last like four cheers and then uh, put it to a poll. I'm not gonna do that every time because I realize then only the most popular things will ever win. And I know some of you guys want to do like really more esoteric stuff. So I'll figure out other ways for people to get like their favorite weird character that no one else really cares about elevated somehow to either to be made into a silent auction sketch or a draw along sketch or whatever. So, uh, Cerxian and uh, Angry Panda 888. All right, so Angry Panda 888 uh, is, is throwing out their Wolverine. Cerxian, you want to throw out a character. Ignite Comics, throw out a character that gives us three possibilities. Uh, Grumpy's F23 has uh, resubscribed. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, Grumpy's F23. All right, so we're going to do a poll. Golf Boy Sunday. Hello, Golf Boy Sunday. Ignite says Green Arrow. Okay. So we have Green Arrow. We have Wolverine. Um, thank you very much, uh, Funny Bob's... Funny Bob 85. Best Twitch channel ever. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, juggernaut. Okay, so we have... Oh, that Juggernaut's interesting. Juggernaut would be easy, actually. Uh, and I do try to pick something simple because there's only two hours, and honestly, the speed, you know, crispy slow mode is... It's, I don't know, it's it's a little slow. But uh, Tyler the Animator has subscribed, as has Mad Villa 1N. Thank you very much. Um... The Lara Croft went to a guy named Brogan, B R zero G A N. Uh, I think it was he was a subscriber since October of last year. I've seen him in chat before, and uh, so he was super stoked. You know, I mean, he's been here for months and months, and uh, um, as I'm sure many of you. And this does remind me. I mean, look, it 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 can be psychologically wearing on you that uh, you've been here since the strip. You know the the channel launched, the site launched in uh, late late August, early September last year, and uh, it reminds me of like uh, dragon raids, you know, like in MMOs where people go, 
They kill this dragon and spend hours, you know, once, you know, would spawn once a week. They kill the dragon, the dragon drop like two, th two items, you know, and two items have to be split amongst the, the entire guild of hundreds of players. And, and, uh, um, but at least there's a lottery system here. Uh, it's not based on seniority or um, what you contributed. So anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, Miles Manor. You have made it to the live stream. You have indeed. All right, so what do we have? We have uh, Juggernaut. We have um, uh, okay. Uh, Janella cannot. Can't draw along right now. He's confined to a hospital right now. I hope that's not you in the hospital. Maybe, well, I wouldn't wish anyone in the hospital, but I hope you're okay regardless. So we have uh, the choices. This man already forgot. This man already forgot. Forgot what? Um, hold on. Let me, let me ask. <clears throat> So what are the choices then? Juggernaut, uh, Green Arrow, all right, so excuse me one second, let me like input this into my, my trusty computer. Uh, <clears throat> The Juggernaut's real name, man. I used to know this stuff so well. I'm like, I'm getting old. Juggernaut. <sighs> Xavier's half brother. What was it? Sort of C. Kane. What was his name? Marco Kane. Is that his name? Marco Kane. Kane Marco. Hey, I was close. Not bad. Not bad. I knew it was a C. Green arrow. All right, what are the other choices here? Wolverine. You guys are trying to get me uh, fired, right? You guys do realize. I work for DC Comics. Ta wooden, ta weeded. <coughs> All right. Now what's the last one? I gotta have one more. We didn't do a Wolverine draw along. This is different. You guys are gonna draw. I'm gonna break down a shape, and I'll tell you the drawings. Uh, from my end, look a little stilted because I'm breaking them down into basic, basic shapes. I'm not drawing as nuanced as I normally would. I'm saying, okay, well, instead of what I would normally draw for like a forearm being this weird shape, I'm going to give you like a pyramid or a triangular shape. And so the sketches look, I've noticed, look a little, like even the Black Panther that we did, it's a little stilted. It's a little simplified, but the idea is to get your mind around some of the basic concepts of how to break down figures and drawing into shapes and how I construct things uh, three-dimensionally in my head. And then as you do more and more of it, you can add in your own nuance, your own style, to it and it'll look more dynamic and, and, and better, frankly. So like the the Supergirl I did and the Black Panther, I, did, I mean, they're okay, I think, but they're not like the best versions of those characters I could have done if I just kind of drew without thinking what I was like kind of breaking it down into in terms of shapes and lines and things like that. Okay, um, okay, I, I think it's just those three. Um... The crispy fried version. Yes, it's the crispy fried version. <coughs> uh, all right, well, I'll take one from the crowd. I'm seeing uh, Black Canary a lot. I'm seeing... Um, uh, thank you, Colby Z1.
Spider-Man? What are you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> we don't have five hours just to do the the webbing, the webbings. And I, hey, I did notice if you go to uh, Eric Canetti's uh, Twitch stream, he 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 did this thing where he did uh, something that kind of influenced by my X-Men number one gatefold cover, which had all these different like four panels, and he drew all these Marvel characters taking on Thanos, and in it. Um, if you look at it, he, he drew Spider-Man, and I love his Spider-Man because he just basically said, punt, punt, and he just drew a grid. For the most part, very little arc to the webbing. It was just kind of straight line, which I thought was really cool. Uh, no, that's not shots at Eric. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, I love that piece that he did, but I was like looking at his Spider-Man on it, and I specifically noted, like, he's not going to mess with that, and boom, boom, boom. I love it. Um... The slow mode sucks. You telling me? I'm like, I'm like, uh, okay. There are a lot of people here. I, I think we're just gonna go with those three. Cause, uh, hold on. Let me, there might be one more. From the crowd, I am going to pull. Uh, you guys don't agree on anything. <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Hush because uh, why not? Fifteenth anniversary. Okay, so hold on. So this is the poll. You have you have four choices. Four. Fier. Cuatro. Cinq. Is it cinq? In French, I don't know. Un, deux, trois. Cinq? Or is cinq five? I don't know. <sighs> Alright, so go ahead and vote. We're all picking Wolverine anyway, says Wildstorm C. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 okay, 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 it sank, I was great, no, quatre, oh, right, quatre, yeah, un, deux, trois, quatre, sank, eins, zwei, drei, vier, four, okay, um, all right, I'm going to end the poll now because we should know what the answer is here. All right, what does it say? What does it say? The winner is, uh, wow, it's Green Arrow. Green Arrow. Oh, wow. People are leaving the stream very quickly. They're leaving in droves. What's going on? Am I scared of Scarecrow? Ooh, yes, I'm very scared of Scarecrow, yes, yes. I'm not scared of anyone. Uh, Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo would be very quick. He's got the fur collar, isn't he? Baron Zemo, if I recall. Right, isn't he like, uh... Isn't this Baron Zemo? Pretty pimp. He has a crown too, yeah. There we go, Ben. Baron Zemo. And who says there were no drugs back in the 50s? Or 60s, or whatever. Whenever he was great. Alright. Nice draw along. You guys done? You done with your Baron Zemo? All right, everyone, Baron Zemo, show it. Show, show me your Baron Zemo. That should be like code for something. Uh, all right. I have no more paper left. This is how prepped I am. Hot prepared. Look at this. Uh, I don't have to.
to now scavenge for paper. And by scavenge, I mean start looking around the floor. I'll be right back. Yes, there is paper strewn around the floor. Strewn. 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 Look at this. I found a piece of paper on the ground. All right. We are going to do green arrow. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And I say fun as in like, oh, pain. And I say this because uh, drawing an arm in perspective is what's going to sell this whole thing. And being able to draw an arrow in perspective. Uh, wait, did Wolverine win the poll? No. Green Arrow, 36.2%. I'm look look juggernaut 4.3 percent green arrow 36.2 percent wolverine 34 percent hush 25.5 percent percent well I'm gonna I'm gonna go of course I ended the poll <laughs> what's wrong with you people <laughs> There's no stream tomorrow, uh, D. Donner 7. It's Easter. All right, I'm going to put it down. Yeah, wait, hit refresh. Who has to refresh? Hmm. This is uh, controversial. Who is Green Arrow? Wow. <sighs> oh. This is so, um, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I'm going to tell you, um, Green Arrow will be harder to do. So you guys decide how much you want to be challenged. All right, let's do it. We're doing Green Arrow. We're not doing this. Look. There's still some left in this one. It's got a slight bit of fizz in it. Still good. All right. I'm going to move this. This is so dangerous. So, Green Arrow, um, what does that mean? Here's what it means. That means I have to move over here. All right. I need to move stuff around. I don't, this is crazy. All right. Get your pieces of paper out. <clears throat> we're going to, let me walk you through what we're going to do first. So that you will know is that we're planning on doing. So I'm going to show you quickly what we're going to do, and then I'm going to slow it down and we're going to walk you through. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, this is what we're going to do right here. So. Now I'm going. Uh, now I'm thinking. Maybe we should just do Wolverine. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun.
All right, so you guys ready to start Wolverine, I guess? All right? Okay, let's do that. Okay, uh... No, this is this is the final this is the final uh this is what i was gonna sh shoot for and then we'll slow it down uh let's do let's do all right okay all right let's just do let's just let's all right let's do wolverine let's do wolverine all right but i'll still show you i'll still i'll still no i'm not trolling you guys this is not the warm -up. i'm sh rather than going like okay now draw this and then you don't know what that is I'm showing you everything at, at at once first, okay? All right. I'm showing you the final kind of what we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna slow it down, and then everyone's gonna um, right. So that, that's we're not doing that, okay? So we're gonna do uh, let's do this, and let's do Wolverine. Let's this is the final Wolverine. This is what's gonna look like at the end, all right? This is so don't don't do not draw this. For Bolton, don't do it. Nine. Okay, it's gonna be. We're gonna do this shot, and then we're gonna put. Uh, let's see. We'll put uh, one eye here, another eye here, nose here. We'll do uh, something like this, uh, or not. How about we? Um, let's do. Let's do a three quarter. Let's do something like, like, like this. Let's. I want to do a hand. That's a, that's really what I want to challenge you guys with is a hand. Okay, so we're gonna. We'll do this. Okay. All right. This is the po This is the final sketch that we're gonna do. All right. A green green arrow would be very very challenging. I'm just telling you right off the bat. Okay. All right. So this is what we're gonna do, all right? Okay. You wanna do four shortened claws? All right, we'll do four shortened claws, all right? I'm, okay, all right, okay. We're gonna do, uh, it's gonna be, all right, well, it'll, okay, we're gonna, this is not the draw line. Do not draw, do not waste paper, all right, guys? I'm just showing you what the final image is gonna look like, all right? So it's gonna be something like this. And then we'll do the claws like this, okay? So it's gonna be a horizontal piece, all right? You guys got that? Okay. All right, okay. So, that is, um, that's what we're gonna do, okay? <laughs> DJ Mittens. Sorry, 1030. We suck. All right. So, we're drawing horizontally. Perfect. All right. Classic Wolverine jumping at you pose. Is that what you want? Uh, all right. We can, we can try that. All right. Here's what we're going to do. All right. So, it's not going to be exactly what I just showed you. The trick to this, um, the trick to this drawing is, uh, and, and the lesson that we're doing. <laughs> Stop! I did, told you guys not to draw anything. You must listen. Okay. Is uh, I'm gonna be able to draw two fists. I'm gonna draw two fists. Is the secret of this. So what we're gonna do is put one fist, sort of in kind of. This is the center. Put one fist. One fist, and by fist I mean you basically draw like a rectangle that's pinched down at the ends. Okay? That's one fist. That's this face here. Okay? Alright? Okay. <laughs> yes, you can draw now. Unfungin. 
Los. Okay, and then uh, you draw the other fist. This is halfway. If this is the, if you divide the paper into four quadrants, maybe you put that other fist like right here. So we're taking this and rotating it down. Pinch down here at the at, at, at the ends, right? I'm starting now, yes. Yes. A trapezoid, yes. It's a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrangle of four uh four uh, uh unlike or four different angles in each corner. That's a trapezoid. Alright? And that differentiates it from a parallelogram and uh a rectangle, <clears throat> a trapezoid, four-sided, four-sided thing with angles that are all different. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So that's one fist. So that's the fist. Then we'll put the thumb underneath. And the thumb is like a pe it's a Lego block. It's your standard six dot Lego block like that. Okay. Trapezium, two parallel sides. All right, you guys caught up? Lego Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Stimmt. Du hast recht. Okay. Now, we're going to draw the sides of those fists. Okay. Or take that, take this face and draw like, make it three dimensional. Can you do that? By just basically dropping the sides down. You can do the same thing with the uh, the Lego thumb too. <laughs> Marco the artist, well we just started so you can uh, get another piece of paper and start again. Okay? There are no vanishing points. It's a, uh, it's a, it's um, it's so far back that the lines are all parallel. Just do a parallel. Parallel, parallel, parallel. So you don't have to do that. Just have them go straight back. Because we're not. This is just, this is just the um, the template, folks. Template, the template. <coughs> Okay. I like to uh, I like to do the um, the draw logs in a German accent. It feels just more commanding. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and then uh, game guy eighty eight. Hi. All right. So now out of the tops of these uh, rectangles, we're going to shoot one, two, three lines. One, two, three. Thank you for the cheers, for the cheers. Thank you very much. Um, Angry Panda eight eight eight. Tracer G has subscribed as has the Cubert. Janelle has cheered some more. Thank you so much, Janelle. I, I do hope you're okay. You don't have to say what it is, but. Uh, I'll get, uh, Ignite Comics is wanting the warm sketch. I, I will I will send this out. It's got a little Wolverine sketch on it. It's got an awesome Baron Zemo sketch on it. And it has a green arrow. Should we do the green arrow? Ah. 
we'll see. We'll see, man. We can always do Green Arrow another time. Okay. Yeah, the Joker kind of bis in Deutsch. Okay. Er hat er hat so viel Deutsch studiert, der Joker. Ja, ja, ja. Okay. Now, um, now we're gonna put essentially a bowling pin. Or, you know, a cone. Let's do a cone. So here's the top part of the cone. Go ahead and draw a circle like that. Okay. If you make that a cone or a cylinder, that circle underneath represents the wrist. Okay. Okay. I do not trick the game guy, idiot. Okay. Okay. And then... <laughs> Uh, uh, well, thank you, Sidewinder, Fivewinder. Uh, <laughs> who was the first? Um, <laughs> Pissed round. We could always do Green Arrow another time. Q to six months without Green Arrow. That is probably the truest thing that's been said today. All right. Okay, so you have the top of the cone, and you flare it down like this. Okay. These are like those cones that you have to avoid, like in traffic, not traffic school, driving school, right? Okay. Got it? I'll wait, I'll wait. Official static. Welcome in. Jabu. Official static. Hello. What's the final pose supposed to look like? I'll tell you right now. So. It's going to look like that. But I like the idea, so he's going to be busting through the ground like this. All right. No problem, official static. Lance Child <coughs> Lance Art. Lance Childers Art has resubscribed. Thank you very much. The Little Paint Creative. Ninja of Justice has resubscribed. Love the draw along. Okay. The head is not going to fit. What? It, on my page or your page? All right, let's do this, okay? You guys have all drawn this so far, correct? Okay. I'm just going to keep going. Watch. Now we're going to draw the other side of this cone, okay? The bottom part. I think this is like a cocktail. It's a cocktail shaker, right? A cocktail shaker looks like this, or a lava lamp, all right? At the base of this is the elbow. The elbow is represented by a circle, okay? All right. Now, go ahead and draw two more lines that go like this, and then have a flare out, like kind of like a bloom. I know this looks kind of crazy, but this is the back side of the tricep. Okay, and we'll add detail there later. Okay, and then on the shoulder, the shoulder joint is going to be a circle like this. Okay. All right. Now, from this circular shoulder joint, if this is 12 o'clock, this is 3 o'clock, think about it that way. It's intersecting this at about 11.30, that about the 3 o'clock mark. At about the 9 o'clock mark, go ahead and draw an arc that goes like this. 
Don't ignore this other thing because I'm, I'm going to erase it. Okay. All right. Got that. And then from maybe the four o'clock part of that circle. Okay. Go ahead and just drop it down about here. And then from this point, go ahead and draw straight across. All right. So this is the shoulder. This is the tricep. There's the elbow. Here's the back end of the uh, forearm. There's the forearm. Okay. And out of out of this point right here, that nine o'clock, go straight up and draw. We're gonna draw a circle like that. But you're only see the top part of that circle right here. Crispy egg roll. <laughs> uh, now I haven't drawn the collarbone yet. Okay. And right above that arc, the letter D, right? Look at it this way. If I got that egg, the letter D is right there. All right. And then we'll put like a seven, a D seven. And uh, put another D right down here. And then two more D's. Now where you put these D's, super important. Okay. It's almost like seven to the D power over here. And then this D is kind of falling off at a different angle. It's not even, these are all kind of straight up and down. This one's kind of falling off at a weird angle. <laughs> is this April Fool's? It would be an amazing April Fool's if it were. And in some parts of the world, it is April Fool. Fool. All right. So that seven represents the bottom of the nose, and we're going to tweak it a little bit. But I just want to kind of show you that from the from these D's, which are his eyes, if you go a little over to the left of that and go straight up and then come back down, right? It should form like a Star Trek symbol. Of course, these shapes are only relevant to this particular sketch at this particular angle. But I'm trying to make you think about the shapes that you're drawing in general. That if I'm drawing a shape that's triangular like that, it's in perspective so that this other one will, will you won't see as much of the face. You see almost the entire face of this triangle here. The face of this is going deep into that page, so that's why you don't see it as much. Okay? And then over here, if you think about uh, the middle part of this tricep, cut here. like two arcs like this. That first arc is that his center line of his chest. That other arc is the other end of his pec. So this is one pec here. This nipple would be there roughly. Here's the other one and his nipples over there. It's kind of odd, but that's the way it is. All right. The, L, the, the armpit goes in here. You have a rib that goes here, a rib that goes there. Okay. And then you can go ahead and do that swing. So you can see, we don't want to go across his face, so I draw it a little higher. That was a mistake to go across. All right. Do any of you guys feel like you're close to, uh, to this?
Any of you? <sighs> Alright. Sort of, okay. Alright, so now, here's what we're going to do. After we, this is like the bare bones uh, construction line. Alright. Thank you very much, Great, great Schnauzer. Okay. <coughs> For the sub. Okay. All right, I believe you guys. I believe you, MXD7. All right, so you're pretty close. All right, so this is the template. This is the architecture of the drawing itself. We'll take a flat eraser, or if you're in Photoshop, I want you to lightly erase this. Take an eraser, make it like 20% opaque, and then draw over your line and kind of push it back. Okay? And uh, keep doing it until you uh, don't see much of the drawing at all. But you still see your basic signs, you see your D's, your, you see your 7, you see your uh, cylinders, you see your balloon triceps, you see your, your clock face for the shoulder joint, you see your triangular shapes for the, the, the sides of his mask, right? Okay. Shubangarang, we're drawing Wolverine. Okay. All right. So now we're going to uh, Super Gamer sixty five has subscribed. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we're going to start with the face first, or maybe we should do the uh, hand first. Uh, let's let's start with the face first. Okay. Go to that seven, that's the nose, all right? What we're gonna do is sort of blunt the tip of that seven, that corner, all right? And then, we're, so it's gonna look more like a, uh, a, th a thimble or a cup that's been kind of turned on the side, all right? That line that I drew here represents the underside of, of his nose, right? This is the shadow of his nose. So if you draw from the tip of this to that eye, or yeah, that part of the D, and from here to that part of the D, that represents the nose. Okay? Throws ain't low health. <laughs> Double Ds, yes. You guys are uh, very um, creative. Yes. Okay? And then. Rather than put a D like that for his eyes, we're gonna we're gonna make it a little more angular. It's an offset. It's an offset pyramid, right? If this represents the D, pick a point over here. It's gonna be like that. And if you have the D over here, you're gonna pick a point over here, and that's gonna be the apex of that triangular, right? So then, if you have a, if you have this D shape over here that represents this other eye, pick that point right here and complete that triangular shape. Okay. All right, I'm waiting. This is the eye that you're drawing. Okay. All right. Oh, there's a dog over here. That's not a good sign. All right. Now remember that other D down here? That's his mouth. You're going to put his teeth on the inside. So basically another part. Just kind of draw a parallel track to the... All right. So that top part of the D is his lip. And you can make it a little thicker. And that black line represents his lip. This represents his teeth. We're not going to draw a line like this and break his teeth down because it, it looks a little crazy seeing each individual tooth. Although it doesn't look so bad the way I've just done it. But trust me, it does look odd. Uh, but it's good to put those lines down because what you do is you... Uh, they look good on the edges of that D. So go ahead and erase, lightly erase in the center. So those lines look good on the sides, but not so much in the center. And the reason why, okay, the reason why 
is if you were drawing a puck. Let's say you were drawing a puck like this. And to make it look like it's three-dimensional, you might do rendering like this. You're creating, essentially creating a highlight here, a lighter gray value or lighter value, a darker values on the sides. When you do that effectively, you basically make things look three-dimensional. Right? This is what I'm talking about. Okay? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay? So if you think about his teeth being the same way, you see the lines on the sides to create depth, to create those shadows. By the time we get to the two front teeth, we're going to leave them without lines in between because we want it to look as white as possible. We're creating, we're essentially creating a cylindrical render scheme on his teeth. And so the, the teeth that are closest to us, further away from the back of his throat, are the whitest and so we're not going to add the lines in between the teeth but the teeth that are on the side they're going back towards the back of his throat we're going to put the lines in fact the lines between the teeth are going to get thicker and thicker you'll see that in my illustrations of the joker or whatever is that the, the gaps between the teeth will get that i'll do deeper and wider blacks because it basically pushes the sides of the mouth backwards into space i'm basically doing what i just showed you i'm creating a three-dimensional sort of shape just through the line work I'm creating between his teeth. Does that make sense? Kiefer Adam seems to understand. Vito, all right, I'm trying to get my dad a job as compo guard. He, he has real talent, but he's getting old. <laughs> Join the club. No way he can submit his work or start. It's it such a huge question. There's no way for me to answer it in the stream. I mean, there's uh, Google it. There's so many resources online at this point. V, uh, Vito Mart. Um, and honestly, you can't want the dream more than he wants it. So um, that's really all I can say right now. Okay. All right. All right. So now the bottom of that D, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw his lower teeth, but we're just going to show the 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 teeth are underneath that gum line so you only see the the very tips kind of pop out and again we'll just draw the edges draw, draw a couple lines of little dits on the sides like we would here to create three-dimensionality in this row of teeth okay <laughs> you guys have already given up <coughs> Are you guys at least have you drawn this? I mean, this is a I mean, it's an upshot of a face, but okay. All right. Now the same slight angle that you have to the bottom of that D, you want to apply to this. That's the bottom of his cowl. Have it come straight down. And you can sort of see how his, if you draw through this arm, you can see how his uh, his chin is there, right? I just hope that, <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are drawing. Maybe I should have you draw a uh, work in progress, okay? Now what I do with my Wolverine cowl is I cut it in on the side, and same with the Batman. So I go to that corner, and I cut it in, and this is uh, this is the uh, Bat Ben Affleck uh, Batman, right? Um, the Christian uh, Bale costume goes like this, and that's Batman, of course. So go out here, cut in a little bit, come down, and then you got to do the other side. And because it's foreshortened, the cut is a little, it's not as deep. Okay. You can all stream and I could use another machine to see what you're doing. I have to jump from stream to stream to stream, right? Okay. Now, 
we want to establish a lower lip on this. So this bottom part of the D, go ahead and like just a little bit below, put a line like that. That represents the shadow of the, up, the lower lip, and that represent the chin is right underneath there. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this at least. Yes. Screw all this other stuff. Let's just focus on this. Please tell me you have this. Kathy Crow, Kathy Crow says hers is looking handsome. Got it. All right. Oh, Queen City Music. I don't know, man. All right. It does look like that. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, see where this eye and this eye, like I said, where the tears are. Imagine like a tear kind of jumping through space. All right. This is the way to think of create two arcs. The, the lower arc, actually, that's the bridge of the nose. That's this line here. I would take a Sharpie and draw it, but then it would look really bad for me for the rest of the day. Okay. And why the reason why that line is really good is now I can take out of, out of that line, I can go ahead and, and throw like a couple lines coming out of it, going up. Think of like three claws. One, two, three. Those represent furrowed, furrowed brow lines. Furrowed brow lines. Try to say that three times fast. Okay, and that makes him look uh, like he's intense. Okay, DJ Mittens, my Wolverine looks overweight. Well, well you shouldn't draw anything. Uh, okay, you, you must have gone too far over here. Okay, all you have to do, if that's the case, is move that line over. Okay, but it should connect to right about here. Okay, all right. I think she's talking about the chest. I hope. Furrow brow lines, yeah. The furrow brow lines, own word, that's German. The Germans like to create words by connecting words together into one word. So there's words that have like eight words strung together in one word, and then the article takes on the last. The gender of the last word in the string of words. Okay, so, um, all right, then, See how this turns and you approximate this sort of bulbous kind of ball shape for the for the chin, right? Alright. And that's important because it gives us this chin line over here. Now let's go back to this corner uh, cowl line here. That arc. Continue going and then have it veer a little sharp back that that's where the ear is going to be it's going to basically sit above that line on the side and this is important because from that bottom part of the ear if you come down and basically form like a J that creates the rest of that chin and then from the bottom part of here if you go straight up to that point that forms the other part of of his mask okay or you can do that kind of mask. Depends on what kind of mask you like. Okay, so to do it once more, this is what you should have had. So you go from here and you scoop in and come up to that, that corner point. And then you, then you kind of flare out and you end up at the bottom of that ear. Katie Bradshaw speaks correctly. The chin, the shoulder will cover the chin. I'm just drawing through so you understand. Okay. Beastman speaks correctly. Dann auf Amtsschliffsfahrt selects sich den Aufbereitbetrieb wechselt 
the um, during Gesellschaft. Gesellschaft is a society, I think it's D Gesellschaft, so that whole word is D feminine. <clears throat> All right. Or is it Das Gesellschaft? I don't know, whatever. Nine. Anyway, so then from over here, above that I, you go scoop to that corner point and then come straight down. And because that ear is behind the rest of this, you can't really see it. So you just kind of close it out right there, roughly. And then that comes down and, and, and forms the other edge of that cowl. From the top part of this eye, his eyebrow would be here and here. Okay? And it's, that's important. See you later, Brandon, uh, Brandon Louise 19. Uh, my wife is complaining I'm wasting my day. My wife says the exact same thing, so they're in alignment. All right. Uh, okay. So from the top part of that eyebrow, that's where that skull is going to come. And that, because it's an upshot, you're not going to see a lot of that forehead. So just create that, that moon, and, and it has to go kind of back here. It looks kind of weird, but I think if you erase the lines after you put that line down, it looks it looks correct. Okay. And I'm going to say that where this is and this is, I want it to, it's, it should mirror, it should be roughly parallel to that. So I think I've got this way too high. That looks better. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys see that? You see the bot so the the bottom part of the eyes, bottom part of that shadow of the nose, corner of the mouths, all that they all run in parallel. And that gives us evidence that the face, the skull, is in perspective properly. I, I study German. I study German. That's the only way you can learn German. There's, I try to just, uh, you know, absorb it without studying, but very hard. Uh, BJW, are uh, you on meth right now? You need you need, you need, need us to help you with the come down or something? I, I don't know what's going on. Or yes, yes, yes. AC, AC Krill's right. You you can either study it or you can be born German. Oder geboren werden. Oder oder. Oder geboren werden. Werden. Okay. Uh, all right. Horda. Horda. Okay. How's it deformed? Come on. Eingeborene. Okay. Gavol. Also. Uh, okay. Now. That, you should have a Wolverine head that is in perspective. That is a slight upshot and be done. Here are the nuances I'm going to introduce. From the bottom part of this thimble, midpoint right here to midpoint here, and then from that midpoint, which is in between the two nostrils, you drop that down. So this shadow... There's a triangular shadow that goes underneath there. Got it? The underside of this lip, broaden that, make it wider. Go ahead and shade this in. I hope you guys are still all working in pencil. We're going to go to ink in a bit. Okay. All right. Put a line right here on the side that represents 
this is the upper lip. This represents this part of the mouth. Because the light source is generally in front of us, if you just do a little bit of scritchy rendering right there, it makes it look like there's a, makes it look a little more three-dimensional. Three I started in Sharpie, is that bad? Uh, <laughs> because that way, because uh, you can't erase if you're in Sharpie. All right, now let's go back to that, that circle that we had here that represents the shoulder joint, okay? Draw the top part of it, that's his shoulder. Okay, now we can erase everything that is that the shoulder represents, okay? All right, blue pencil is fine. Anything we haven't gotten to ink yet. That's all I'm saying. And if you draw this line here from that point, that nine o'clock point down here, that's his backside. When you get to about here where it meets his uh, jaw line, you could draw a line and basically go from here down to here. That's a costume line. Am I losing you guys? Should draw eight hours a day. Okay. Because this round thing represents a shadow, the bottom, this part here, see how I instantly kind of create a little volume on there? I can render out of here. And all I've done is basically taken a circular element and, and done this. It's like the moon, right? It's the moon with a sh core shadow like that. And all I've done is just cut a section off, and that represents the top part of it of his shoulder. It's a moon, that's right. But and Frank, and in fact, there'd be more of that moon here, except this tricep that I drew, which rep is represented by two sort of canoes. sits on the underside of that that moon right they're attached to the bottom of that sphere and so they have their own kind of shadows that run underneath All right so we're looking up at two canoes in the water and they have core shadows at the bottom I'm self-taught. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> uh, is anyone still with us? If I've lost everyone, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Crispy egg roll. You're trying to mod and draw. Okay, you, all right, see, people still, some people are still good. All right, keep going. All right, fine. All right, good, good. All right. Now, out of here is a bit of the, the bicep. I'm going to put the elbow over here. It's like a little bar of soap. It also has a shadow. The underside of that forearm... Let's just go ahead and finish that forearm. Draw the line, the cross line. Let's just go ahead and sh shadow this in. I, I want to kind of show you when I start putting the shadows in for real, what I'm building off of. If we draw the face of this of this uh, fist and we break it into, fo into four, that would be f four fingers and a thumb. If you just go ahead and just draw in the sides as indicated in black okay you can see that right I'm gonna close the door for a second because Mason's gaming and he tends to get pretty vocal <clears throat> I'll be right back
Why shadow the individual muscles, not the entirety of the underarm? I'm, I am going to, I'm going to do the entirety, but I want to show you kind of all the elements that are there. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do one claw and to get a little wider at the tips. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm actually feeling much better compared to a couple days ago. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> do I have allergies a lot? I do have allergies, but that's not. I, I, I had a cold earlier this week. That's why a bunch of the streams got pushed back. Don't worry, I'm just going to edit out the nose blowing and all that stuff. All right, <clears throat> so then... Uh, you have this connector, okay, shadow the underside of that. This is a back muscle, and again, just trust me that if you divide it in half as if it were um, like a gem, that bottom part of the gem would be black like that, right? But because it's curved, the shadow actually kind of goes like that. Just like the moon, right? If it's a cube, it's half. If it's a sphere, the shadow kind of bends with the the line. <clears throat> okay. We had the center line, which represented the line between his pecs. The underside of his pec to the nipple. The nipple is going to be over here, actually. Um, it's like the nipple is like a, a tent pole and it holds water and the water representing the top part of this. The underside is going to be wider over here and narrower over here. And so that's going to be filled in with shadow as well. We're still working in pencil, I hope. <laughs> oh, hey, Wendy, how are you? Wendy Broom, in the house. <laughs> um, Wendy, Wendy was uh, one of the original colorists at Wildstorm way back in the day, Mira Mesa. So it's always interesting when I, people I know in real life she joined the studio very early on. She learned uh, from Joe Trido and, and uh, does a lot of, uh, she's been in colors for, for years and years. Great work, okay. Um, I know you crispy in real life for, I don't know, like a, a brief moment. When, when he's been at Wildstorm, oh gosh, probably since the 90s. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, thank you, Kathy. All right. Now, you can just make it very simple and just, if you just make sort of uh, C shapes like this, I mean, this is, uh, I've run out of room, but. If you make C shapes and then another C that cuts in here, it's almost like a butt, <laughs> butt cleavage. I don't know. Look, this is a, yeah. It's like the bottom side of a, a joint, but then that represents, um, um, this represents a rib, this represents the muscle that goes into the rib. And out of that, where they meet, just create another arc like that, fill that in. And that gets offset. Okay. The Joker 808. Well, go have fun at work. Now, from this middle pec line over here, see where that nipple is here? It's going to be in perspective. So that distance to this distance, so right about here. 
So we'll go from the neckline down to the, what that nipple is, come down a little bit. That represents the bottom side of the, uh, the pec. So from there to there, and then from here to here, and then just fill it in with black. And then from the bottom part of here, we're just gonna arc it out. And you have that line that represents this line, okay? Now he's looking a little flat, I think. I wanna round him out, put some more meat on that side of his body. So basically you go up here, and you can just basically, you could keep going and you can start seeing how if you add too much, it does, doesn't look right. But by adding just another layer, and then adding that shadow, this represents a muscle and this represents the muscle behind it. So the whole ba the back side of a, a person's body is, is, is uh, the main muscle that kind of runs along the edge of your rib cage. Right? So if this is the back, and I've done this before. Uh, from the, okay, if this is your back, your spine, your, the main muscle kind of goes from your, the shoulder down to the back, right? And this is your waist, okay? Your ribs are right here. But it's not just one big muscle. There's, it's a series of muscles that basically um, overlay one another. And so all I'm doing to add more volume on the back side is that first line, that represents that, but this and this represent this, right? And that's why I'm able to kind of just keep adding on. And they all have very similar kinds of shapes, meaning they're kind of long and uh, um, they look like slugs. All right. Okay. You're really struggling to draw in this way. Uh, well, I think it's because you're probably drawing in a way that you typically don't draw, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, so let's just clean up what we have here. Now, someone said, "Why? Why not just shadow the underside of this arm?" And and we are, and we're going to do it now. But the reason. Why we're going to do it this way? Oh, do we have someone else? We have uh, we have Randy. Do we have Randy? Do we have Randy? I don't know. Did I miss somebody coming in? Oh, Rama Bot Live. Hey, Randy Mayer. Another colorist, uh, longtime Wildstorm employee. Okay. All right, so we'll take a, a slightly thicker pencil and we're going to look at all this that, that's there. And, and as you can see, I've kind of shadowed each element, but it doesn't really work that way. But I want you to know um, that uh, you should be aware of all the lumps. Um, so <clears throat> it's like. Um, if you were to take a thin, very fine, a very, very thin membrane, kind of wrap it around this entire arm, where would the shadows go? And they would follow like these shapes underneath uh, without being a slave to them. Meaning the transition from here to here, uh, this valley would be, there'd be another shadow that would basically connect these up, right? And so you connect these, canoe shadows to this elbow shadow. You take this elbow shadow and you connect it up to this shadow here. This arm, this form, this fist will cast the light sources here or here. It's going to cast a shadow on the forearm itself. This finger is going to cast a shadow across that thumb if you want it. So there are all these things you can do. And this bicep here will have a bit of a shadow on the side. So you can go all the way to black on the on, all the way here if you wanted to. So you don't have to worry about all that. But at least you, the line, these shapes here will be born of something. They will be built on this knowledge that there's this three-dimensional shape that's underneath 
the structure and that you're not just putting a random line down, that you know exactly where that line goes because in your mind you have a three-dimensional canoe at the bottom of this, of the shoulder, okay? And then when you get really nuanced, you realize that this shoulder is not just a, a circular globe, that it's actually a little flat up here, comes in, and so that, that changes the shadow, that there's actually three pieces to the shoulder muscle, and, and so one of the pieces here, so you can draw another little bit of a shadow here. So these are kind of like... You know, if this is 101, anatomy 101, and this is uh, this represents maybe anatomy a 200 level class or a 300 level class, right? And you start realizing that nothing really is symmetrical, that it actually flares up even more so at the corner. Right? And then even this forearm, it actually goes in and then raises up, right? That there are nuances to every single line. Oh, Francis Manipole's here. Hey! <laughs> hey, Francis, how are you doing? <coughs> uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Do we have Francis Manipole in the house? Well, we have a lot of uh, other um, professionals here. So I assume, Francis, that you're thinking about streaming because that would be awesome. Actually, it would be uh, lovely to have other um, working professionals. Uh, Ranma Bot is a, uh, she, he, he works at Wildstorm or at, at DC. Uh, he's colored some of my work. We have uh, Wendy, uh, Wendy Broom, I was going to say her maiden name, Fouts. Um, so there are a number of people that are, I think, circling around Twitch. I don't know, Francis, if you ever had a Patreon. I kind of looked at it and never got into it. Um, I think Ray Dillon, I saw him earlier. He's uh, another professional that works in professionally uh, in comics. And uh, Eric Canetti works on Twitch or has, has streamed as well. David Peterson, uh, Ken Lashley. There's a number of people. And... Uh, I feel like the more that come in, the more community there will be and, and more content that will be available really around the clock for people that are interested in learning how to draw or learn how to draw comics or superheroes and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and frankly, I'll, I'll share with you guys, like when I stream six hours, uh, I will sit at the drawing board for much more time than I would if I were just drawing without a camera present. And that's because I, I, I procrastinate a lot. I stand up because I feel like it's it's useful for me to stand up <laughs> from a health point of view. I'm probably reading too, you know, I'm like, um, you know, every, every bit of information on the internet seems that much more interesting when you're working on a deadline. And I know if I have a stream here, I have to attend to the people in the stream and get the work done. So, Brohawk 2K, got David Williams here as well. They're all coming out of the woodwork now. So uh, David Williams is another illustrator, comic book artist. I've known him for many, many years. He's from, I don't know if you're still in the Bay Area, but David is a guy that I met back in the day, WonderCon, I think. Uh, he has a real clean kind of um, playful style, really rock-solid anatomy, uh, solid uh, storytelling. Francis Manipole, I'm thinking of doing it later in the summer. i got to get in the mind frame and shake off my social cobwebs. The best thing to do, Francis, is not even thinking about it. Uh, you know, if you think too much about the fact that you're blowing your nose on camera, you're going to you're gonna <coughs> get in the way. I don't know what else I can say. All right. Okay, so basically uh, at this point, so yeah, if you guys are interested, follow Francis Manipole, follow... Uh, Rama bot live. Follow um, Wendy Broom. I forgot the, there was a number after her name. Follow uh, Eric Canetti, who's not here, but follow Brohawk. Um, yes, I've done some really yeah yeah. Chris Bagwell, he's one of my mods. <laughs> <coughs> I've eaten on camera. People seem to enjoy that. That's really why I'm trying to take all of this eventually to the point where I don't have to draw anything. I just eat on camera and um, make a decent uh, 
subscription fee. In fact, I don't even really need money from Amazon. I would just like credit for um, free shipping and music and films. <laughs> if I had a larger, if there was a way, I would actually co-stream two different people at the same, whatever. All right. So let's go back to this Wolverine that I'm doing. Okay. So this is, uh, you guys hopefully haven't inked anything yet. We're going to go in. We're going to finish this up. What time is it? Uh, 11.27. We have an hour left. I think we can go ahead and start inking this. And as we ink it, we can add, again, some variation and nuance to the final piece. Okay. Um, what do I got? I got a 0.8 marker here. <clears throat> okay. You can co-stream many different people. Can you? I think yeah. I, I did look into it at one point. There's like a external web page. It's not that complicated at all. Okay, fine. <clears throat> yeah, Eric's on super early. He's like seven in the morning. I mean, he he's streaming earlier morning. I I'll, I typically will stream like a cover or a piece of art. Um, I'll start maybe at eleven o'clock at night, one in the morning, uh, and work through the night. Okay. All right. Good night, Mr. Yakis. I know it's late in Europe. What is it? Uh, it's like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. All right. Wait, now there's Matt. Who's Matt? Matt? Oh, Matt says hi. Okay. Say hi to Matt. Matt Broom here in the house. <coughs> feel silly <laughs> in the house uh, yeah it's just uh, perpetually lost in the 90s um, 9 30 in Finland we uh, so the awesome thing here Francis is that there are people I like, Francis is uh, based out of Toronto I believe and people are all around the world based on my analytics I'd say half the audience is in North America um, but depending on the time I mean actually any time of the day there are people from Europe, Southeast Asia, uh, Ukraine, Russia, everywhere. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start inking this. Now, <clears throat> this is where I can add some nuance. Like, so if we go to the eye of Wolverine's eye, rather than doing a straight triangle, I'm gonna start with that triangle, like we 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 talked about when we did this early on. Okay. But I'm going to curve that top part just a slight bit. And I'm going to curve that, that side a little bit. And what I just did there is I just took... Uh, hold on. I, I show this properly. I took these triangular elements. And it's a very, very subtle thing. But I just curved it. I curved that line. Okay. Okay. an arc like that and I curve this it's a very subtle thing but now I've taken an eye that is now there's nothing wrong with that eye you can do that eye for Batman or Wolverine I mean it's uh, it's very much like Batman the animated series and Frank Miller will go ahead and do uh, Batman with an eye that is just straight like that boom he does it for me personally I, I put a little bit of an arc into it I feel like that gives me a little more it's it's more realism less graphical so I will add arcs to all three. So at the end of the day, it looks triangular and graphical, but there's a very slight nuance um, sort of um, curvature to it. Okay. It's also Toriyama's eye style. Okay, that's um. <coughs> all right. Uh, good luck back at work, Eugene Art. All right. So now I've done the two eyes. Now let's go back to that that bridge that we created. That uh, if you think about it, like eyeglasses. I mean, you, you, if you had eyeglasses here, right? The bridge between the two eyeglasses go like that. And that's a useful line on a character like Batman or Wolverine because out of that you can draw these 
uh, sort of triangular or these three claw-like lines that basically bifurcate, and those represent the burrowed frow. It gives the intensity. It gives uh, it creates emotion in the figure, and uh, you need to know where that line is. And if you think about sort of the rim line between two, it's uh, the joint that. Uh, connects two uh, pieces of uh, eyeglasses together, it kind of um, helps um, give you a starting point to r run those lines out of. Okay, and then out of those two, again, rather than drawing straight, a straight, a nose that goes straight down like this, okay, this, if this what represents moving nose, I'm going to take that point, this point over here, Okay, and curve it ever so slightly. And I'm telling you, you can't, I don't know if you can tell the difference from that size of the camera, but when I draw that line, I'm not drawing it straight. I'm putting a slight curve to it. It's very slight. And all these slight curvatures throughout the entire drawing will add up to something that uh, feels um, a, little, a little rounder. So there are people that draw in straight lines and it's very graphical. Guys like Brian Stelfreeze, and then there are people that draw everything in curves and, and, and round shapes. Um, and it's really kind of the m where the two meet that, that you start seeing all these different styles kind of emerge. All right. And then even at the end of that nose, rather than drawing a straight line like that, it's a slight curve because what it is is, right? It's this. This is what I'm drawing. Right. And so his nose is a little hooked, and so I want that those lines to represent that, and then the, the nostrils flare out in a softer, kind of more organic way, and so the cowl is going to run along those edges and be defined by the shapes that, that it covers. Okay? All right. All right. And then let me just go ahead and... So you can see how it looks like when you... fill it in. There's the shadow of the nose. The upper lip, I added a little nuance to that D shape. What I basically did, instead of taking that D like this, is I broke it in half because that's where the frenulum or whatever that is, <clears throat> the, uh, the little scoop here. <laughs> um, you basically have, I don't know what I would call it, like wings, wings, I guess, right? If you were drawing a bird, a goose, right? So the upper lip is, it's actually kind of these two wings. And then I filled it in black with black. The teeth go underneath, as we discussed before, and then the lines are on the sides, separating the teeth. Bottom deep teeth pop out of here. Shadow that lower lip there. Okay. And then I'm just going to ink that side of that the upper lip as, as indicated before. And that looks weird because it looks like a black splotch on the guy's face, but uh, when we go ahead and add a little more shadow on the side over here on that side of that lip, you, and once we fill in all this, you'll see that um, putting that in makes it look like there's a light source that's kind of hitting that face.
So I want to just acknowledge uh, 69 Jester, Jestem Janem, I guess, for subscribing. Spengy4, a basis for the cheers. Kukio Project for subscribing. And Creature100. And Heck1023. And KP French. And Heck1023 for cheering. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, guys. All right, so let's keep moving, rolling along with this. And I'm filling in the blacks. I would normally use a brush for this, but I'm just using the marker. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing the marker. <laughs> All right. Daisy Perez has subscribed. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Um, and now I'm going to draw the, just ink the top line there. And bef you know, when I did, when I kind of walked you, walked you through it, I, I did it as a, as sphere, but it's actually more nuanced than that. It's, it leans in and then it flattens out the top because it's an upshot and then it kind of comes back down. So now let's ink the shoulder. It starts with the <clears throat> where the shoulder meets the back. Let's see how I've taken that that ball joint and added really subtle turns to it. So there's a straight straight part here, slight curve, flatness, and then back down. So I'm changing some of the, I'm trying to round out this, this torso a bit. So I'm going to start introducing lines that kind of, uh, that create these kind of shapes. And so some rendering lines, you can do it this way, or you could do it this way, but you can see how the, the angle of the lines I'm choosing help create and define the forms that uh, we're trying to suggest, all right? The shadow on the arm looks like Colossus Metal. Well, it's, it's, uh, I was just trying to show you some of the vertices so that the shadows f basically start at certain points based on the, the shape of the underlying muscle. And uh, just like a computer generated model, like if the lines are like this, right, and it basically rolls over to the top, the light will kind of hit it at that point of that muscle. Right, it'll be the bottom sides of these sort of circular shapes. Okay. I find that shading on the rib cage is the hardest. Okay. Unfortunately, I kind of cropped it off. I ran out of space on this. But if we were to draw the rest of this, you would come down here. So you have to imagine the rib cage being like this. The ribs kind of being rising like that, right? So we'll probably draw the shadows of the rib cages like that. So <clears throat> the light source is over here. Um, what's going to happen is this pec muscle is going to be 
you can put that in shadow or render it over here. And so, and especially since the middle of this costume is uh, is dark, right? From that shoulder down, it, it runs like that. So you're gonna put that line, right? Here's the belt. Okay, and here's the other shoulder one. Here's the other costume line that goes like that. His elbow pops right here. There's the uh, the forearm line. What we're going to do with the fist is uh, we have the basic structure, but basically you put like a little pyramid on top of each one. All right, the biggest one is right here. Draw the fingers out. It pinches a little at the top. And because it pinches on both sides here and here, here and here, here and here, it almost creates little diamond shapes inside. All right, so you can draw. Uh, hey, John Lee Studio, how are you? All right. So you fill those in. That represents that, and then you draw a straight line out of that. Of course, it only pinches in on, over here. Okay. Okay. Just says the same way on that nose, we kind of uh, curve that line. We're going to curve the bottom of the of these fingers here. This finger basically, because we see a bit of the side, you're going to see a bit of the of the of the flesh kind of pop off to the side. You can just represent it as a triangle shape. Or you can draw an X. Draw an X on the side. All right. That's is probably and then out of that X draw the palm. The round palm. One here. Same way so much of the human form really is like shapes like this. And I know that's if you're a beavis and butthead, that's like a butt, right? Okay. <laughs> but uh, you could do the same thing here. There's one, there's two, right? There's one, there's two. Uh, and, and I could probably do it all over the, the human form. It's this kind of curved Y shape. Okay. Oh, got Ink One here as well. Good morning, man. Welcome in. We got John Lee Studio, got uh, Ink One. We got everybody here today. We had Francis Manipole, we had Wendy Broom, we had Randy Mayer, proper artists. We are all made of butts, and I will I will, I will go on a, a, a slight tangent here, I'll do this away, and just say that uh, so much of, uh, if you want to fake it, and I really don't recommend this, but uh, if you're drawing an arm, there's so much you can do by just these kind of Y shape, these curved Ys, you know, if you just drop in, a, <laughs> if you want to over render some musculature, if you had a rib cage like this, right? Just putting a lot of these curved Y shapes, but you got to put them in the right place. <coughs> but it's a good way of of um, realizing that muscles lay on top of one another, and that they um, well one will induct or insert underneath the other, and that that basically. Um, that's how the body's able to move, not just in one direction, but all around, right? You're able to push and pull, but also rotate as well. And it's, these muscles are basically all intertwined up in one another. So it's a good, um, yeah. So if you're drawing like a rib cage here, and I would say 
you can look at these points where they meet and it forms a, a rotation, right? That represents the turn within that figure. Head slot, shoulder slot. Okay. Got it? You got it. Great. <coughs> and it's tough to do the nuances of that. And, you know, as I'm drawing this, I'm trying to break it down in the most simplest shape. So you'll find that this looks a little stilted and it doesn't look quite um, as nuanced or as uh, organic as it should. And that's because when you draw, you start with these basic shapes in your mind. But as you render and you uh, ink uh, or as you finalize your pencils, you, you, you start thinking about um, uh, things that are lined up things that uh, have um, arcs and shapes to them, right? So that top part of the, the thumb is rounder, it's narrower to the bottom. Right, like that. There's wrinkles here in the costume line. Okay. There's one of those kind of Y shapes right there. So Y shape right there, Y shape there. Actually, I screwed that one. I should go like that. Sorry, not like that. Okay. And then even that forearm up here. You can kind of see what happens if you just drop in these kind of weird Y things, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe just do it and see what happens. But they do um, I like I like the that shape because it again it, it speaks to how these muscles all kind of um, overlap one another and intertwine and duct into each other. Um, But it, it, it creates a little more three dimensionality because it layers it. And also, I don't really make myself a slave to the musculature. I don't really worry too much about um, the names of each one and where they go. Uh, it's really about whether it looks right or not, whether you have some dynamic flow there or not. And so, so now when I get to the, uh, to the claws, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and curve. I'm going to add a curvature to that all the way around. do is um, go to a brush so, so I can fill in the blacks real quickly. It's nice kind of uh, using a brush because you can just kind of a fill it in quickly, but they can also slab in these black shapes and sometimes just um, if you want to have some fun, <laughs> fun, uh, get some paper and take a brush and just kind of practice drawing with the brush and then dropping in your shadows very quickly and uh, forcefully, uh, boldly, actually boldly is the word I'm looking for, not forcefully, boldly with a brush, and you might be uh, happy with some of the results you may see, and I'm gonna give you an example of that. Get a piece of paper first. All right. Let's use this since I've run out of paper. If you go into this and 
I'm just going to use the, well, let's go ahead and do a leg this time, because right, I usually do the arm. All right, so if you have a leg, because we've just drawn the arm, so the leg has a very kind of similar, whatever, similar to the arm in that, uh, there are these Y-shaped uh, things, these intersections. And, uh, okay, so there's a bunch there. So then, oh, there's a kneecap. The kneecap has, it's a, it's a flat right there, so I'm gonna drop in a shadow right there. This bunch of muscles is gonna sh cast a shadow on the underside of, the, there's gonna be a cast shadow, like these large groups of muscles here, are gonna cast shadows on the bottom side of those muscles. This whole structure will have shadows underneath. This calf muscle will cast a shadow onto itself. Maybe this whole, because it's straight there, goes straight to black. And you can start to see um, maybe this foot emerge out of the shadow. Okay, and that might be your initial shadow placement. And then if you don't like the harshness of the shadows that you put, you want to hedge your bets a little bit, you can take a marker. Okay. You can take a marker and then you render out of here. And all you're doing is taking a black area and transitioning into a white area like that. And if you put the lines in, angle in the same angle sorry I dropped the brush <clears throat> along with your the form it makes it look a little more three-dimensional Since this is colored paper, you can go in and, and realize your highlights are going to be at the highest point of each surface. So if this is around if that muscle there is bulbous and, and, and spherical, that your highlight's going to run across the top. And your highlights will run across all the, the highest points of each of these things. More or less. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we can get back to uh, this Wolverine. I'll finish it up because we're running out of time. All right. So now I'm gonna put blobs in here for the, for the fingers underneath here. What I love about actually inking uh, with a brush is uh, if you go a little sloppy with it, you get like happy accidents, things that uh, maybe aren't anatomically completely structurally sound, but they look good. So stuff like that, like that edge there, I don't know really what that represents, but I like kind of that, that graphical look I got. If you like uh, Frank Miller's work or Klaus Janssen, there's a lot of that where it's a happy accident born of knowledge and understanding of the structures underneath. But if you go in and, and do this enough, you get something that, uh, again, has some structure underlying knowledge, but uh, is also very kind of, uh, shall I say, artsy, maybe a little expressionistic. Right. Core shadow, that arm, ribs, rib, 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 rib. rib. 
underside of the rib cage. So you can see how this looks very kind of staid and, and uh, straightforward, but I ink this very quickly and I was just kind of punching those shadows in and seeing what kind of happened. And I, I, I personally like this effect more than just sort of trapping shadows and filling in neatly. And that's like one of the things that I don't like about digital is that, uh, I mean, I know you can replicate this in digital because you just create the brush or whatever. But uh, a lot of digital to me is, okay, I've got this shape, I'm going to drop in, I'm going to fill it in completely with black, and then move on from there. And everything has a very polished and smooth look to it. I mean, don't get me wrong, but there's, uh, it's not, it just doesn't quite have kind of the hairiness, I guess. I don't know how to really describe it. Of something you can, that you get through these sort of analog mistakes. And look, everything uh, that's done analog can be created visually, uh, digitally. I realize that, yes. All right. So a dry brush, if you guys have a dry brush at this point, it's nice because you can go over here and add some gray values. <clears throat> and all you do is just kind of just finally go over it and over it and over and over it. And uh, even if you can't see it, subtly adding a gray tone to it and just keep going. Uh, moving the light source a little bit more over so everything's going to be a little more shadowed than I, what I had to start. Hopefully you guys can keep up with that. So I'm super curious what, what you guys have created because I it's a, it's a complicated it's a complicated uh, angle. I keep choosing up shots. Uh, I, th I, I felt like we had the most success when we did um, just like a headshot, but man, if you if you don't push yourself and do upshots, you're you're not going to learn how to do them, and uh, you have to realize the really the only way to kind of um, figure it out is is to break down the the anatomy of it, the uh, the shapes that basically underline the you know the structures. And the more and more you do it, the better you, you get at it. <clears throat> and now, for those of you uh, uh, <coughs> if yours looks foreshortened, great. I, I would have foreshortened this a little bit more. This is extra credit. I, I don't know if uh, I would recommend this, but I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Put it down underneath here. Okay. Move this down here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of ink on the card, like this handy dandy Starbucks card. I'm just going to flick it to kind of indicate ink. You know what? I don't know if I'm gonna flick it. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it like this. So what I'm gonna do, I I'm just doing this because it's Saturday. And what else are we gonna do? This is for fun. Don't do this because it's it's gonna ruin your drawing, guys. Okay. Um. Okay. This is uh. I'm gonna put ink on the tip of this card here. Hopefully this will work, guys. And then I'm just going to flick it across, and hopefully I'm not going to get it. Oh! <laughs> it landed over here. All right. One other, I'm going to try one more time here. So tricky, so tricky. All 
If I didn't have to co cover this over here, the way you do it is you splatter like that. Okay, but I don't want the ink to go flying on this handy device, so I'm gonna see if I can do this properly. All right, let's see if I can do this here. It's good enough. <coughs> so I'm gonna let that dry. Did it ruin your drawings? I don't know. I'm so curious. I'm so curious to see. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so curious to see the drawings. Based on how this goes, I will figure out the next the draw along. We're going to just do something a little more basic. Go back. Excuse me. Oh, we're, not, we're not done yet. We're just going to add a little more detail and then, then I want you guys to um, pop in the drawings that you guys have done. And then uh, uh, this will be a giveaway to the people that have... Uh, uh, it's open to everybody, whether you sub or not. And... Uh, I'm just basically going to put some ink here. The trick to drawing blood very quickly. Uh, you draw a, blo a blob, a circle of blob, draw a sort of like a uh, a tail to it and maybe like a blob at the other end. I wouldn't do that every single time, but if you just do that a couple times, it gets pretty close. And then like maybe it's like thinking, like that blob of blood is thinking, and so or it's worried, it's got uh, spidey sense. So that's got like some friends. Some friends, uh, or you draw the, like the Y, a V, a Y, an A, a Z secret code to someone in chat. Okay. <coughs> I hope this made sense, you guys. I had a lot of fun myself, but it just it just goes to show uh, as I do some of these more difficult angles um, or bits of information, how how really uh, complicated it can be. Um, but a lot of it, I think, is because you start with the simple. You start with the simple. Start with the simple. And you just practice and do it over and over and over and over and over again. And uh, every time you do it, you add maybe a little more nuance or a little more understanding. And it starts evolving. It starts evolving from a very simple shot of something that, that is spheres and circles and it becomes something that has a little more uh, personality to it, a little more understanding of the human form underneath. So I'm going to erase some of this stuff that I had here because it makes no sense that there'd be like these lemon wedges and circles and stuff like that over here. Because this is a drawing I'm going to give away to someone that could put it maybe on their wall and go like, yeah, I know it looks a little tweaked, but uh, he did it uh, and trying to teach people online how to draw it and uh, so he had his he was a little limited in exactly what he could do I'm sure anyway that's I don't know, that's kind of what I'm thinking that you would say but bro it's actually not too bad yeah yeah okay and uh, oh and he's got hair hair and so uh, we're gonna do that and hair you're basically coming down, hitting the line, pulling it back up all at the same time. I Meaning I'm not doing a flat line like that because it will look like a flat line. I'm coming down, hitting the paper and pulling it up. It's a U shape. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Boom, 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 boom. Alright. And I'm going in circles, rotating it around the form. I want to see the people that th threw ink on their pages and see where it landed. So much fun. <coughs> I 
I want the wedges. I'm sorry. The uh, wedges are gone, dude. Wedges are gone. All right. Let me... Uh, Oh, uh, so the inside of the mouth, you're going to basically, you can go all black with it, but it'll look flat. Draw an angle like this, like a, an L, or a 7, I guess a 7, and just color the top parts in. So leave like that little corner open. And that represents light going through the opening of the mouth and hitting the backside. And it just makes it look a little more 3D. Okay? He's got stubble, so go ahead and hit some stubble there. And again, very light, light hits, like they're dits on the page. And all the dits are going towards the center here. Going towards that mouth. Thank you, Darcia33, for the for the bits uh, as well as angry panda 883 you're responsible for this uh for this uh kawaii kawaii guy la uh has raided with a party 11. all right welcome kawaii guy la group um captain juhana has subscribed as has um bandeko and bamfart can't forget bamfart and uh, DC Frez, I gotta move this setup. I, I can't see through my my uh, my microphone here. I'm just letting the ink dry. That's why I'm kind of pontificating over this drawing because I want to do a, a couple other things to just kind of enhance it for the person that wins this drawing. Danke and gute besserung. Thank you. Thanks and better health or good health or good Besser is better, so Besser is improvement. Like Who's he clone? Oh it's it's uh it's uh Juggernaut. Yeah, thanks and get well, basically, yeah. Danke sehr. Danke sehr. Obrigado. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Say il mio leore, Jim. I am the best. Thank you. That's <laughs> very kind of you to say so. All right, uh, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let that dry. And now I'm going with um, a little bit of white out. And if you just hit little the globs of of blood that you had, okay. And you get for whatever reason I don't mind spraying like white out across. Black ink is. Uh, it's there forever. Why not? You kind of scrape off your drawing board, but I'm basically taking it, putting some here on this corner, and now I'm gonna hit it. Look, it's, the spray's all down here. Let that dry for a second. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> a taker food one, I don't know. Taker food one. I subscribe. Janella has cheered 300 bits. Thank you, Janella. I hope you feel better. Or whoever you're visiting feels better. Um, Colby Z1, how do you sh how do you show these to me? All right. So we have a Discord channel that is connected to this Twitch channel. 
there are two places. If you are a sub, there's a actual channel called Draw Along posted in there. Just one drawing per person, just from me, like the final thing. If you aren't a sub, uh, I think there's miscellaneous is where you would put it. Crispy or one of the um, mods would have the information. Perky Pipers, hello Perky Pipers. Good to see you, buddy. It's white out, it's Pentel white out. All the equipment that I use is at the main page of the uh, of the Twitch uh, main page. All right, we're gonna give this uh, Wolverine away. And so if you are interested, I think you just have to say something in chat and don't spam it. It's open to anyone. And then uh, if you win, I will send you a private message um, where um, who to personalize this to and where to mail it if you live outside the contiguous 48 United States. I'm going to charge you postage, but otherwise I'll cover it. I'll, I'll eat the $5 to send this to you. I appreciate you guys tuning in on a Saturday morning and watching. Um, please. Oh, thank you very much. Hugs from Brazil. We wish you come to a Comic Con in December. I, I think I'm doing a show in Mexico in December, so I won't be able to make it. Uh, but thank you, Hilarino. Thank you, Queen City Amusements, for the bits as well. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate the support. All right, here we go. Uh, Nightbot. Nightbot. There we are, Nightbot. I'm going to roll it. Extinction Agent. Extinction Agent. Extinction Agent. It's been following since December 25th of last year. Extinction Agent is a big fan of Marvel. This is... Yeah, rigged. You're right, it's rigged. Uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. All right. Well, dude, congrats. Sometimes it goes to someone completely random. And sometimes it goes to someone that, that uh, it should, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It is, it is Nightbot, dude. There is no rigness to it. No rigness to it. I'm clearly on medication. There's nothing uh, rigginess about it. He is crying. I am crying. Bible thump. He is crying. Congrats, dude. I'm, I'm happy for you. Ah. It's not letting me send a message. So, if you guys could, one last thing I would ask you to do, which would be to thank our lovely mods. We have Kirihiko, we have uh, Green Elephant, and we have Crispy Egg Roll. These guys have been monitoring your every question your every need for the past couple hours uh they work endlessly behind the scenes to make this core channel and this stream as good as it can possibly be they're a font of wisdom knowledge and um some hilarity and uh, i can't thank them enough for all their help so thank you guys for tuning in thank the mods thank you uh guest stars francis manipal uh randy mayer wendy broom uh, proper artist, John Lee Studio. Um, gosh, I, who am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing other people that came in and said hello. Of course, we have PK. Can't forget PK. PK is, uh, I don't know what PK is. He's just got a strange handle name, and uh, we love him for that. Thank you, Andra, Andre Riso, for subscribing. Ray Dillon Art, there we go. Uh, that was another person that was in stream. I think there was also some people that... Oh, what well, we typically do now, we go raid somebody, and uh, I left time in the stream to actually go and say hello. I, the last raid I did, I had a bolt, we had a, a lunch uh, appointment I had to get to uh, with the family, so we raided this person, uh, um, the, I, it was uh, Danielle Nicole, I think, Art, I want to say, and so I was in the, the on her page, watching for a little bit and then I had to leave I didn't properly get to say hello or anything then later when I got back in the office I'm in here drawing and I'm still on her page and she's singing she's singing along with the songs and I thought like this is fantastic not only do I get art but I get like homemade 
karaoke, and so it was amazing. So, oh, what about the other sketches? You're right. Vizier de in the house is correct. So I'm going to give this away as well. Um, hold on, let me just... You know what? Hold on one second. Before we raid, before we raid... So that one is for Extinction Agent. Uh, this one, which has uh, a, a number of things on it, we got Baron Zemo. Can't forget Baron Zemo. We have, uh, if you were really Wolverine and wore a mask, we have uh, the endless uh, Ys that are found all over um, people's bodies. Um, we have an aborted uh, Wolverine sketch where people thought was too easy to do. Little did they know. And then, uh, this was the original idea. People like, uh, Green Arrow, forget it. No way. And so, um, anyway. So, and another two ideas that were rejected because they're too easy. So, we're going to, after this, we're going to raid somebody. Well, I'm going to give this away. We're going to raid someone. Is this the order we're going to do it? No. We're going to do the, the giveaway. Then I'm going to go on stream and look at uh, some of the stuff that you've drawn, and then we'll do the rate, all right? Or maybe I'll go online and look. Hold on. Let's do that. Let's go do that. Because once I do this giveaway, people are going to be like, I'm out of here. Maybe they're already saying they're out of here. Um, okay. Uh, where do I want to go? Um, Discord. Discord. All right, let me, I'm just going to take a quick look at the, the draw lungs and see what we got here. Oh my gosh, these are fantastic. These are great. These are great. I was really, I mean, I was expecting like uh, <laughs> Elephant Man. I, mean, I, I literally thought like hands were going to be coming out of people's skulls. And Okay, dude. All right. This is great. These are these are fantastic, man. Wow. I'm a great teacher. <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry. I'm, I couldn't help my. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. <clears throat> Don't send me the drawings. Don't send the drawings anyway. These drawings are for you to keep. These drawings are for you to keep. You guys knocked it out of the park, out of the house, as we like to say. Wow. All right. All right, I, I have my, my faith in humanity and communication is restored. I feel like, I, you know, the way Crispy was asking these questions, I thought for sure, like, oh, my God, I've lost half the audience. But uh, all right, fantastic. These guys, these are fantastic, dude. I don't know. Look, these are Golf Boy Sunday. Nice. Uh, Queen City Amusements. Kogan 5. Oh, looks like Kogan 5 whited out some of the black. He, he threw the ink, and you can see like there's white out over it. <laughs> I like the fearlessness of it. Uh, NRZ Kane, Danke Jim, little the notes. Oh, you know, when I put these up, um, mm, I don't know if I want to say this now, because you guys are going to just repeat, put more images up. So I'll say, in the future, put your... Put your Instagram handle, Twitter, whatever you want on the drawing. Because I, I just pick random ones I like. And I put them on Instagram and Twitter right before I do the next one to kind of show people this is what we're doing. And uh, it's a way for you to kind of get your stuff out there if, if that's something you want. But do not repost now. Please don't repost because it's just going to blow up this channel more than it needs to be in, in terms of images. I'm just saying for next time. Please. All right. 
Uh, yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. Ninja Justice has a Dave Cockrum vibe to it. Book and Red uh, used his diary, I guess, his uh, daily minder. Uh, superhero Swimmer um, had fun with the red blood, I could tell. All right, these are uh, these are rock solid. You, all right, awesome. All right, so we've done that. We we'll give this away. Oh, and this leg, I, I can give this leg away. Um, yeah. But I feel like we should make it something. Uh, what should we make it? Um, hmm. Well, I guess. So this leg, let's give this leg away. I gotta write this down so I don't forget who won what. Twitch is not behaving properly right now, so it's not let me send a message to Extinction Agent right now. Is Wolverine. The leg is going to go to All right, I'm going to roll it. Uh, Jeremy L. Joe, following since uh, March 30th, which is, um, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. All right, awesome. Uh, congrats, Jeremy. Uh, very. Just strolls right in, picks up the victory. All right. Jeremy Eljo. Okay. And, uh, and then the, uh, this piece here, the larger 11 by 17 is going to Chuck Arnold 3000. Chuck Arnold 3000 has been following since September 10th of last year. And Chuck Arnold is a longtime fan of Wildstorm as well. Yep. Congrats, man. All right. That's all taken care of. We got that all under control. Congrats, guys. Uh, so, Kate, are you here? Kirhiko, are you here? Who are we, who are we rating? Who, where are we going? For those of you who are new to this, this just means that we just go to someone else's stream and just kind of jump in and, and just kind of fill up their chat with nonsense. Um... Ryan Elephant, do you have one? Or Crispy, do you guys have a candidate? You're welcome, Angry Panda883. So basically, we'll point you in the right direction. There's a link, you click it, and then you jump in, and then you just basically go blah, 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 whatever, just, just spam and just act like an ass, I guess. And then... Uh, uh, you usually look for streams that don't have a lot of people. Like <laughs> we rated someone that had like tens of thousands of people watching, it would make no difference. But it, you know, generally you're going to streams where they might have, you know, a handful of people or twenty people that normally uh, kind of participate in chat, and so we just go and say hello. And uh, but it's also a great way for you guys to discover other people's work on on Twitch, other streams that you might find very entertaining and interesting. 
And uh, I will be steaming, I will be streaming next week, and yes, I will. Uh, the schedule will go up later this week. I'm not, act like an ass is a phrase. Like, I think if you spam someone's chat, that's sort of like acting like an ass, but. Um, no, but I'm not saying, don't act disrespectful, but I'm just saying, you go in and you make a lot of noise, and um, that's what I meant. So. All right, do we, you're still looking. But there's a command, right? Um, there was a command, right? Run, like it's slash raid, I don't know. It's just a, it's a way for streamers to support other streamers on Twitch by basically sharing their audience and kind of pointing them. It's it's a, it is a virtual recommendation, and uh, it, it's, and rather than me saying, hey, check out this person's stream, you actually, we, we all go there. Uh, actually, you just jump right in, so that's pretty cool. Can you keep the sketch up? Uh, sure. There you go. Uh, oh, Kate's got one? Okay. Kate? All right, there we go. So we're going to go check out Brother Baston. Brother Baston. All right. So you basically click on that link. And there we go. Oh, I should probably end the stream. Alright, see you guys later, man. Good night.